How did we select which song? Um, the musical episodes? Right, which there were four songs. The depression was like my favorite. Oh, okay. I loved it. How did we select that? I like that song a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was not as extensive as I feared. <laughs> <laughs> they were the David Bowie estate and the, uh, the Queen estate, the, the Freddie Mercury estate were very nice. They made it actually made it really easy. Uh, now this season, what? Uh, are you going to stick to the book a little bit, or are you going to kind of go off on your tangent or mix it up a little bit? It's definitely both. Cool. Um, we've got a lot of material still in all three books, but yeah. there's especially a treasure trove of material in book three. But um, especially because we start the season with most of our characters having no idea who they are, we have a lot of stuff to play with that is not in the books. So kind of as business as usual for us, which is to use the source material as inspirations and do the greatest hits, and then also go off on lots of tangents with lots of characters. Uh, how um, Obviously, the work received the first season, I'd say, like, better than any of the other seasons before that. How did, like, how did they received it um, kind of impact what you decided that you could and couldn't do with the first season? Like, were you able to kind of, like, branch out, do a little bit more experimental stuff, or were you just kind of going on with what you were uh, I, I can't speak to serve my own boss because I don't pay attention. At all? I don't. No, no I can't. Okay. I will when it's all done. All right. I'll go back. <laughs> And I'll read like all the really mean <laughs> tweets. And, like, I don't know, and that's the some of the good reviews, whatever. But like, no, I, 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 I saw that right. totally. Right. 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 obviously no and so, yeah. But I really, I myself just kind of feel like you know, what's the story? Are we? You know, did this episode work? Did that episode not work? Why did I stick it that way internally? Because they're well, it's really, really great to get. Positive feedback. I mean, it can be really helpful to get negative feedback. You can get into what I call analysis paralysis, where you're just trying to like literally do the autopsy before the body's even alive. And it's a balance. You know, don't you don't want to be in a basement with the doors closed and a tin floor hat on. We really try to keep social media down to about once every ten minutes. <laughs> Very we disappointing. We actually had a conversation about this with the writers in the first week because I, I, I don't know if you um, I don't know if you noticed it while it was happening. I didn't notice till we were like about at the episode that six short stories about magic that we really had had a long run where it was one experimental episode after this one's in Benny's POV and this one they're gonna age fifty years and die in one act yeah. and then this one right. Um, and we didn't go into that self-consciously. We didn't say we were going to try and break form in every episode. There just was a lot of creativity in the room, and we're bored easily. And so, the, and then we were um, very grateful that that was received so well. Um, it made me aware that we needed, as writers, to have permission to do something else this season. So we right away went in the room and told the writers they were under no obligation to try to replicate anything in particular about season three. I think that's where you start to get in trouble, it's when you try to repeat your greatest hits. So um, I feel like season four is interesting in a different way. There is still We still experiment with form and we still get bored easily, but the kind of creative ideas that people brought in, for me, they're a little bit psychologically even deeper than in season three. The, the, the thing that is front and center is character growth and development, and the really kind of sticky, difficult to pin down stuff about your mid-twenties and your late twenty, and as you are sort of fully an adult in the world and how you process life. So, if that's not so too esoteric, that's kind of season is feeling. What? Legacy. Legacy. <laughs> God damn, that show went on for a long time. It stayed amazing the whole run. Right. Is there an overall theme to this fourth season? Yes. There's, there's several. <laughs> well, one of them is, you know, fascists don't always know they're fascists. Um, this is a season where the library, who are master magicians, they're educated, they're well-meaning, they're incredibly neutral. They, they have a sort of prime directive about messing with history because they collect and report history. But now they are charged with controlling the flow of magic in the world, all of the worlds, and very quickly they start to step in a little bit more. And we can understand why they would do that. It's necessary to keep people 
save and to keep the books safe. But um, that's a slippery slope. I think pretty much right away, that's a slippery slope, slope for them. In the past, some of the creatures and big pieces of magic, like even the ship last season of Federal Showstoppers, with the magic being a lot more controlled, can we still expect to see something new in that area? Yeah. You've got a creature in your first season. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can say that he's related to the, all the freshwater fish in Fillory. We can say that. He's the lord of all freshwater aquatic creatures, but he calls himself Lord Fresh. Cool. <laughs> he's himself an aquatic creature. Today was obviously a great guest star in yeah. season three. Um, do you guys have anybody high up on the list that you'd like to come on to the show? Please do that. Please do that. Is that a quote for the pilot? No. We strongly suspect she might be trying to do this. This is the place for confirmations. Yes. Come on. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean who can we talk about? Right? Yes. Is a much bigger arc to see. You know, Marina 23 just ran through the door back into the 40th timeline, so so you might see her yeah. at some point quickly um, in the season. Um, um, uh, yeah, there's some yeah, there's yeah. some loose ends with. It's a season one character, but like yeah, very bad guy. Oh. Very bad. Todd, you might see Todd again. Todd, Todd, <laughs> yes, a ton of fun stuff. Yeah. Seriously. Todd really was one of those people that, like, kind of fought back over and over again because the actor was, was, yes. was a one on one. Fun. You wrote it yeah, out yeah, of the joke about it. Yeah, it seemed like a joke. It's literally a joke scene. Yeah. Uh, that's a Danny Strong one. Yeah. Buffy. Adam DeMarco might be the Danny Strong one. Adam is such a terrific guy. I love having him on set. The whole musical was about that. Yep. Oh, that was easy. You made that part easy. Since your show can have a variety of things happen, what would be the ideal show you would want to cross over with? Uh, like an existing show? Yeah. Oh. Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> I would say Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Those, those people need to laugh. <laughs> All musical handmaids. Come on, bitches, get up! <laughs> that could all just be one episode. Yeah. yeah. They need magic and they need. They need magic and they need laughs. Like <laughs> that place is a bummer. <laughs> I've I I watched every episode twice. I think it's a genius show. Yeah. I love it. But oh my god, I'd that crossover. I'd, I'd write that for free. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. Okay, on that note. Thank you. I really love the animals and their holding blocks changing the direction of voting. Will we explore more of that as well as the relationships between human and animals? Yes. Yes, because it's actually a big thing. Yeah. In episode. Seven, eight? Yes. Yeah, get it to the big twist. We just like to work with animal actors. Yeah. Well, I hope you like... <laughs> We're masochists that way. I hope you like lizards. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> hey, don't make one. <laughs> Thank you.